Axel, come here. He knows right when the camera's starting to roll, don't you? You're a good boy. Hey, so, is Daddy Jack's going with the blues here? So, it's uh, Deegan's birthday. How old's Deegan? 17. 17. My, how he's growing up fast. And I uh, asked him what he wanted for uh, his birthday, and he said, uh, shepherd's pie. So, we're going to make a healthy shepherd's pie with chicken. So, what I have here is some... Uh, Carrot, celery, onion, just a little bit of butter, some of my roasted red peppers, and I actually put some uh, through the grinder. So we're going to brown that separate. Just let that go. And uh, I'm going to hit that. I did add a little salt and pepper. And so I'm going to be careful. We're going to wait to the end to see how the flavor is. Some garlic powder. I like a little bit of paprika. That's my uh, Aunt Liv always cook with paprika, so I do too. And then here I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, a little bit of garlic, a good amount of garlic actually. Okay. And uh, some pepper. And uh, we're just going to sweat this down a little bit. And uh, we're going to add a little flour into it to tighten it up. Have a little bit of dark uh, chicken stock back here cooking. Bring that to a nice boil when you're making your sauce. You always want to have uh, uh, it hot. So we'll be right back. Got the potatoes going in the back for the top. Yukon Gold. So the chicken's going good. Just a little bit of flour. Tighten it up. Cook the rawness out of the flour. That's some whole wheat flour. My buddy uh, Keith milled it. See the bottom? It's great. That's going to give us some nice, get us the color. We're going to make our gravy. We have our chicken. Okay. I'll bring the whisk out a little bit, just to, if there's any lumps. All right, just gonna let that simmer down a little bit. We'll be right back. Dave Jack's cool with the blues. Not too much. Uh, some Worcestershire sauce. Woo sauce. Always try to get Lee and Perrins if you can. There you go. Just a little bit more. Okay, let's see. Let's take a taste. Mmm. On the money. So here, the chicken's good. All right, we're just gonna let that simmer down a little bit and uh, we'll be good to go. 
Wait for potatoes to cook. Clean up a little bit. A little mise en place. Right, Lakeisha? You got that right. We'll be right back. So, we got to add us some corn. Fresh corn in the summer is the best. The peas, I'm going to wait. I'm just going to let it cool down a little bit. I was thinking maybe, at, you know, to tighten it up a little bit more. But I think we're good. What do you think, Lakeisha? Looks good, honey. Okay. So I'm going to add just a few of the peas, frozen peas, right on top. I'm not going to mix them in yet. check with Deegan because like sometimes kids don't like peas but he gave us the go ahead our casserole I'm going to split it in two pans of course we got to have some for us I made plenty okay cool just a little bit not much and we'll wait for our potatoes to be done and then uh, we'll finish it off and pop it in the oven for about 30 minutes or so all right potatoes are ready so we're gonna make our mashed potato so what I do is drain off drain off most of the, the water so I put it back on the stove boil off all that extra water we don't have watered, watered down potato. When we, when we hear that sizzle stop, but right now we can season it up. Salt, garlic powder. Right now I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some butter on the top. Get that melting. Gotta have a good amount. Just let that simmer down, we'll be right back. Okay, so the butter's kind of melted down in there. Most of the water's evaporated off. So it's important in this step here to make sure that you, you bring, all, bring all your cream and everything back to the boil. That's how you, you know, sometimes your potatoes sour, you don't bring it back to the boil. So we're gonna put a few of our green onions in there. Bet you thought we we're gonna forget them, but nope. Just give me the eye. I'm making too much noise here, so metal on metal is no good, right? Okay. Much better. Uh. <laughs> okay. Watch out for this right here because. When a potato starts popping and splashing, nothing worse than a mashed potato burn, I'll tell you right. Well, let's taste it for salt and pepper now. Definitely more salt. Garlic. And uh, pepper. I know the original recipe doesn't call for it, but I got one other little trick up my sleeve. Some Parmigiani. Okay. 
Just a touch more cream. And one more trick. Uh-oh, burping. Look at that. A duck egg. Hard shell. Careful. Okay. more green onions. We're gonna save that uh the egg white. One last taste. We'll work here. Check them out. <laughs> Look, here it is. All right. <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'm Titus. I'm doing the camera work right now for um, Google. Uh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Just say you're doing camera work. I'm doing camera work for uh, Daddy Jack's Cooking with the Blues. Right on. <laughs> All right. That's it. In the oven. Just a uh, little dusting on top. And uh, because I have them, some Ritz. So that's yours. You know what, Lakeisha? We're going to put them both in the oven. Okay. We'll bring them both. Yeah. Right? Okay. Because once they taste this, <laughs> they're going to wipe it out. Oh. Hold on one second. A little bit of green on top. This is my grandma Chaplin. A little paprika. And that's it, right in the oven. Pop it in a 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes. All right, Dang Jack's Cold with the Blues. Peace. <laughs>